Um, hey y'all, this is Survivor Kid. Um, if you saw my last video, you probably heard me say that I'm gonna add, um, some more to my Outtoid Survival Twin. So, that's what I did. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what all I added. Electrical tape off. Da -da 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 -da. And again, you can reuse the electrical tape. It obviously is still sticky. Um, let's see. Um, chainsaw, which was already in there before. Um, this is actually just a piece of straw that I cut a few of the ends together with the lighter and put some um, hydrogen peroxide in it. So if I um, need that, you just got a reasonable amount, just cut off that top and put it on the spot that I need it. And it's wrapped in electrical tape. I have it on the bottom end right there because, well, I couldn't get that um, part fused well, so I put um, electrical tape right there to keep the hydrogen peroxide to come out. And also, this electrical tape comes in handy for a lot more stuff, um, patching up wounds or anything else. Um, coffee filters, which I folded up one more time so I um, have a little more space in here. Again, the lighter. Duct tape. And a little straw that has toothpicks in it, which I don't know if you can see them. There's three toothpicks in there. Don't know if you can see them, but uh, they're in there. So just fuse the ends together of that, of the straw. And I don't have to worry if there's a little small hole in, the, in this straw because nothing liquid, it's not going to leak out, um, and some, um, uh, three guard bandages, you can get those, you can get a whole box of them for maybe a dollar at Walgreens, and some band-aids, just little circle band-aids that I got from maybe Rite Aid for like um, 50 cents, I think. I'm not even positive, but um, there's the inside of the tin. Let's put all that stuff back in there. Is a pain to get back in if you didn't know. Just roll it up like that. Stick it in. Hinges on this are kind of loose. I wanted to get a pair of pliers and fix that. And those are my dogs, if you can hear them. I don't know what they're barking at, but I think Bo's barking at Jake just to try to get him to play. I'll show you guys my dogs in another video, maybe. Outroids tins, um, they're good for small kits, but I would much rather have a bigger tin because Outroids tins are cheaper, easy to use, um, a lot easier to get. And also, in, in, on the outside, I have um, um, 
strapped to the tin with two rubber bands. Um, rubber bands come in handy a lot. Um, uh, holding stuff together, holding your tin shut. Um, I have a little paper wallet that I made. It's um, just basic, really easy to make. Uh, there, uh, you can look up any uh, how to make a paper wallet on YouTube. You can, um, it's really easy. I may show you how in another video. Just comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, ask me to make the video. And inside the wallet, one, I have um, a sheet of my medical information that it say I'm hunting and there's an accident or somebody acci somebody else is hunting in the same area see me moving and shoot I'm down on the ground they come find me find out that I'm not an animal well I ask them sometimes but <clears throat> um they just uh, find my survival team laying there on the ground find my wallet get my medical information has the emergency contact um, my recent medical history stuff like that um, then there's um, what's left of an old Bass Pro Shops card uh, yeah I kinda used it to make uh, it got ex it expired so I kinda used it to make um, guitar picks yeah I like making guitar, guitar picks um, so, right, that's good for getting out bee stings, um, if I had a bee sting right there in my hand, just use the middle part of the car, which is the stiffest, and scrape it out, and just have that in, inside flap right there. I have some first aid instructions, and again, if I was hurt, Somebody found my wallet, got my medical information, called 911 or anybody else who could help. And while we're waiting, while he's waiting for the um, police, ambulance, or anything else to get there, rescue squad, uh, anything else, he has these instructions inside my wallet that he can hold me over until they get here. It tells me how to wrap an ankle or um, CPR, mouth to mouth resuscitation, high link maneuver, just any number of things. Or if I find somebody hurt, um, I can help them. And also, because I'm a Boy Scout, I kind of um, have to have a totem chip which is so I can um, have permission to carry a knife, hatchet, or saw on campouts or with uh, campouts with me or projects or whatever. Um there's my survival tin. And what I would do is just it's kind of the well it's a little bigger than the tin. So I just got two rubber bands and that's the reason I didn't put it in my wallet in the tin. So, um, just get the two rubber bands and just strap it on. And there you go. I hope this has been beneficial to you. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.